you get a you get a microphone. Uh, good evening, Mr. Secretary General. Uh, my name is Habibullah Atai. I am from Af uh, Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, from the American University of Afghanistan. I just, I just want to take the chance to uh, thank everybody uh, involved in organizing this, uh, the youth event, and especially Ms. Burrell Berendekti for inviting us. Uh, and uh, I would like to raise a question regarding the PRD teams in Afghanistan and the presence of the PRD teams in uh, different province, uh, provinces of Afghanistan. Uh, it is believed to uh, by you know, by the local community, it is believed that uh, most of the uh, PRD teams who are coming from, let's say, rich countries are uh, located in the southern areas of Afghanistan where uh, insurgency rate is uh, raising. And uh, that the people of central and northern uh, province of Afghanistan are feeling uh, to be punished by NATO and by the international community by being peaceful and uh, by uh, being secure and uh, providing security for the people and uh, for the presence of the uh, NATO, NATO, uh, NATO, can, uh, NATO, pre uh, NATO soldiers in, in their provinces. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that uh, uh, NATO will approach a new uh, strategy to address these issues? Thank you. That's a lot. Let me, let me start by saying that uh, at, at the end of July, uh, it, my wife and I had the pleasure and the privilege uh, of meeting students from Kabul University. Uh, my wife, uh, as I said, being a French teacher, she gave, uh, she gave a course to the, to the students. Uh, I, I was there as well. So we have a good bond with the, with the University of, of, of Kabul uh, and, the, and the students of, of, of Afghanistan. So it gives me great pleasure to, to, to see you here and those who invited you and your countrymen uh, were, uh, had, had a great idea. Uh, on the PRTs, it's complex, I can tell you. Uh, and when you get a, an, when somebody starts to answer your question by it's complex, it means that he or she needs some time to think. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, what, do, what do we see in Afghanistan? Um, we see that the international community and also NATO has chosen a model where individual nations took responsibility for provinces in Afghanistan. Be it Uruzgan, be it, be it Paktika, uh, Paktia, uh, uh, Gore, I didn't know these provinces five years ago when I came to, to NATO, by the way. I think I know them almost all. Anyway, there was a responsibility, nation, and a, and a sort of coupling between the nation and the, and, and the province. As a result of that, nations are to a large extent channeling their development cooperation, their reconstruction funds, not through the central government in Kabul, which is something President Karzai, your president, very much likes, but they do that along their own channels. Why do they do that? Because every single nation, including mine, the Netherlands, thinks they are the champions for reconstruction and development cooperation. The Dutch think there's no one better in the world in reconstruction and development cooperation than the Dutch. Canadians think the same, by the way. Uh, and, 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 many, and, many others, uh, and many others as well. As a result of that, you're right, there is a certain disbalance or lack of a balance in, in Afghanistan. Uh, I, I would not automatically say it is a south-north disbalance, but I would say it's a general disbalance. Uh, I'll give you one example. Our Lithuanian colleagues who have a provincial reconstruction team in Chaksharan, that's in Gore province. Uh, they do a great job as a small nation to run such a provincial reconstruction team. And I, I always use that as an example to bigger nations. Look at Lithuania and look, look at what they, can, uh, what, what they can do. But Lithuania doesn't have the means to really come in largely and fundamentally with money into Gore province. You, you, can, you cannot ask that from a nation like Lithuania. So I take your point that I think we should try to find a more fair balance. But I say again, I don't think it's south-north. I think, I think it's, 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 it's more in the wider sense and perhaps a more equitable uh, sharing, sharing of the burden in this, uh, in this regard. So I take your point. I think your analysis to a certain extent is right. I cannot immediately give you another model uh, uh, which, which would be better, given the fact that those nations who are in the provincial reconstruction teams have their own public opinion to address, and Canada wants to show, or the, the Netherlands or Germany, they want to show to their public opinion, to their television audience, look, we are not only there to fight, because fighting is not that popular, we, we, are, there, we are there for reconstruction and development, and they need that because it's in Germany the Bundestag or the Dutch parliament or the Belgian parliament at a certain stage who will say, government, I agree that your forces stay there. I agree that your provincial reconstruction team stays there. So 
That's why I said it's complex. I mean it. It is a very complex question, but you have a point when, when you say that there is a certain uh, disbalance, but I do not think that it has to do with the fact that the going is more tough in the south uh, than in the north, because if you take our Scandinavian uh, friends and, and, and partners uh, in, in, in Maimana, for instance, or, 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 or Mazar, but Maimana, then, then they, also, they also do a lot in, in, in the north. But I think we, we, we might need a more, a more fairer balance. Thank you for uh, raising it.